Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's skip the intros today and talk about that special thing that Adobe just released into the beta version of Photoshop. This is something that is going to change the way in which we edit our portraits going forward. Now, before I get into it, on my screen, I've got this lovely family portrait that I shot in natural light. I was using a Canon EOS R5 and the Eye of Sauron, which is the 200 millimeter F 1.8 lens. Now, at the time of the shoot, I was really excited to get them in place, shoot in this beautiful light, but I didn't see all of these strands of grass in front of them. You know, I could have probably moved them forward and gotten rid of that at camera level, but here it is. It's a problem and I know when I initially edited this image it took me a while to get these strands of grass in front of everything out of the way let's have a look at how we're going to deal with this now with what Adobe have introduced into the beta version of Photoshop what I'm going to do is grab the selection brush tool and I'm just going to paint over those strands of grass very liberally not even accurately just like that and I'm gonna go over to the generator fill tool and instead of Firefly, I'm now going to change it to Gemini 2.5 Nano Banana. That's right, folks. Nano Banana is right here inside of the beta version of Photoshop. No plugins, no fancy scripts. It's right here natively. Let's have a look at how we're going to deal with this. Remove strands of grass. Enter. Now I'm gonna let this run in real time. And as I said, when I first done this, I took quite a bit of time individually selecting each of the strands of grass and actually using the generator fill tool with Firefly. And I eventually got rid of it, but it still was quite messy and I still had to fix a lot. Let's see exactly what happens now with prompt based editing. Yes, prompt based editing. Pow, look at that my friends, it is fixed in seconds before and after. Now, one of the things that I did notice while playing with this is that there is a bit of a pixel shift before and after. There's a tiny little bit of a pixel shift, but I have noticed that if you actually rescale things just a tiny bit, it fixes it. Now, this is something that is probably a bug at the moment. The return results doesn't exactly line up with what's been selected, but I'm sure that will be fixed. But that was a minor thing. Look at this, my friends. That is absolutely amazing. But it doesn't stop there. Let's say, for example, I wanted to create color harmony. You guys who follow my channel and follow my tutorials will know that I love color harmony and I love to get my colors lovely balanced. Now, in this shoot, let's say hypothetically, I didn't like the yellow top. Well, I kind of don't, but let's have a look at how we can change this really, really easily without using any kind of crazy selections and masks and hue and saturation adjustment layers. Let's have a look at this. Again, selection brush tool. Just gonna reduce the size a little bit here. And I'm just gonna simply paint around the jumper like this. Okay, follow all along there and close it off there. Like I said, it doesn't have to be accurate. Go to generate fill and say, change the jumper to page. There we go. Enter. Now, let's see what kind of results get generated and boom. If this isn't a portrait editing miracle, I don't know what is because <laughs> look at that. It makes slight changes, but those changes don't detract from what we have originally. This is incredible. This is mind blowing. I can't even fathom how this is even possible, but yet here yeah, we are talking about it. This is going to transform the way we edit our portraits. Let's say hypothetically, the guy said, Dan, can you change my jumper to navy blue? And I'll go, well, of course I can. You know, in the past, I would have been a little bit reluctant to say that, you know, uh, that little extra time would cost. Let's have a look at this now. Change the jumper to navy blue. Enter, I love this. If I had to change this to blue, it would be a mission because we don't have color data there. You guys know this. If there isn't any color data there, it becomes a little bit more tricky and you have to use a couple more steps to actually get the colors that you want. You have to do all sorts of level adjustments and all kinds of crazy things. But with this, you don't. This is magic. This is really, really awesome. Like I said, there is a couple of little shifts in the alignment when it comes back. 
if you want to use it now, it's as simple as just realigning it like that. Grab this really complex area right here. Let's say, for example, all of those grass strands in front of this shoe, something like that. Let's just grab the whole area. Don't even care where I'm painting. And then going to the generator fill tool and then typing remove the grass strands. And let's have a look at what happens. Look at that. I I'm just blown away. That is absolutely incredible. To be able to do that and maintain all the information right behind it, that is absolutely incredible. Folks, there you have it. We now have Nano Banana right inside of Photoshop beta. I don't know what the timeline is like in terms of it being introduced into the full release of Photoshop, but I don't expect it to be very long. This, my friends, is a game changer. If you're a portrait photographer and you're not using this, you're losing out, you're losing time. If you wanna speed up your workflow, this is definitely a way forward. So there you have it, my friends. This was a quick overview of Nano Banana right here inside of the beta version of Photoshop. Thanks so much, and we'll see you in the next session. Cheers for now.